Well, everyone, as I like to say, it's Thanksgiving, or in this case, it's just an early uh, Christmas present. We got the 2024 roadmap. I'm very surprised we got this before the new year. I was frankly thinking, okay, we're going to get the new uh, patch in January, and as soon as it launches, we'll get the roadmap. But lo and behold, uh, here we are. And so I'm just going to go over it uh, real quickly as well as I can. Just see, you know, my, my point of view and just go over a few of the things. So let's just get started. Uh, we have Seeds of Renewal, which I said it's launching in January. Uh, I'm guessing around the 15th, maybe a little bit more. Um, we're getting the Dragon Isles epilogue. So I'm guessing it's just going to tie everything up. All the story as far as the Dragon Flight uh, story goes. Um, <laughs> one thing I want to say about Dragon Flight... Uh, I never thought I'd be sick of dragons, you know, <laughs> me being actually a fan of dragons. I think they're like the awesomest animal or, you know, the creature or invention. It's just, I don't think I want to see a dra another dragon for, for a good, good while. Um, one thing I was disappointed in Dragonflight as far as, you know, the dragons goes, it was the, the infinite arc, you know, or the infinite uh, story and lore. If there's one of the, if there was one of the dragon, um, stories that I wanted to get into was the infinites, which basically it's, it's more, it's, um, those dorm were becoming more I was on. I'm like, yes, dude, let's go dark. Let's burn the world. Right. That kind of stuff. Uh, and then for just Chromie to mess everything up and mess the time ways and just rewind that it was like, no, but you know, I get it now. It's so, so Iridicon, Iridicron can win. So it's just like, oh, man, I really wish we could have gotten all that good stuff from way back when, when, you know, it's a uh, temple of times. I don't even know what the hell the, the dungeon was <laughs> from back, back when the, it was, um, it was Dormu talking about the few, the true timeline, all that kind of stuff. I remember he was even a, a hearts one card. Anyways, I'm getting <laughs> too much into this. Um, I'm not really looking forward to like anything spectacular. Honestly, the story has been rather lackluster i mean there's only a couple like cinematics of being pretty nice pretty cool in dragon dragon flight so you know let's just tie it up and get on with it and get to the good stuff which i think is going to be uh the war within all right and next we have here hold on let me, it's nice if i get the cursor here the reclamation of gilmaeus gilmaeus now i know a lot of people have been wanting this for a long time um i i personally enjoyed because uh, again, Grayman was one of the cards I, I like to play in Hearthstone, and I like him as a character, despite everybody criticizing him, like, Silas! you know, <laughs> just screaming that out. I, I like Gen, I like his interactions with Anduin, um, it's just gonna be cool, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy going to that, uh, part of the world, which I don't know in World of Warcraft, I just know it from Hearthstone, so I, all the stuff that I've learned from Hearthstone, I've always wanted to you know, go in and explore. And this that's going to be pretty cool. All right, next thing we have is Dragon Riding Worldwide. Now, this is going to be a game changer, honestly. I was just doing some old world, you know, traveling, you know, flying, uh, especially right now with the Winter Veil that you, had to go, you got to go kill the, uh, the Grinch or whatever. And I was like, holy cow, I understand now why, you know, Blizzard was so, uh, you know, saying, hey, we're not going to give you the full speed dragon riding, you know, we're going to reduce it to 80% because I'm like, man, if, if this is the time it's taking me to get to these places, I can't imagine doing this on dragon riding. Azeroth all of a sudden is going to feel teeny tiny. I'm going to go from the top to the bottom of calendar in like no time flat. So, um, but still it's going to be fun. It's going to be finally fun. Like, okay, now I can get to there quicker and just do all sorts of other world world stuff. Especially like like Halloween, you know, you gotta go all, get all the buckets and stuff. It's gonna be cool. Uh, next thing is follower dungeons. Um, I think we've already seen this. You know, it's just uh, NPCs following you. I think they say some people have been saying like it's gonna be your war band. I don't know. I'm not. It's okay. Eh, whatever. You just get to do dungeons or something. I don't know. Next thing is the. Uh, let me try and say this. Azerothian. I don't know why I was going Azerothian, Azerothian Archives. Uh, honestly, I have no clue what this is. Um, it seems like it's like one of those, um, um, what was that last thing? The Clues event? You know, you go around doing, 
or I think archaeology or something. I had to do something like that. I don't know. Um, we'll find out. Anyways, uh, next thing is the Outline Cup. I don't have anything in particular with with dragon riding. I do enjoy the races. I do enjoy doing them. Um, I just um, this Outline Cup type of thumb. I, I I should do it. I should try it out. Maybe it'll be cool. Anyway, next is the Hearthstone Anniversary event. Now with this, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think this is more towards getting people back into Hearthstone because I'm gonna tell you, um, a few days ago I was like, man, you know what? I'm tired of playing WoW. I want to try something new, freshen up a new a palate cleanser, if you will. And then we play some Hearthstone. Played a couple games and I'm like, you know what? I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm thinking. I'm going over like why people are not playing Hearthstone. Uh, first of all, there's no esports scene as it used to be before. I remember when like Crip used to play and these other players, and you'd have like in-person um, um, tournaments. That level was fun. The commentators are fun. Right now, I just I checked out the latest esports you know thing that they had. It, no, no, no good. So I just dipped out after like watching a game. And then, th then again, the meta is just pretty bad. So, in 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 short, it's just probably something to get people to remind them, hey, Hearthstone here. Uh, maybe you get some a free deck or something to get people to get back to Hearthstone. Because honestly, I think it's truly dying. And you know, you never know with all these layoffs. Just it must be it might be another game that just get nicked. All right, next we go with what everyone's been talking about. This very ominous. Um, Jolly Roger, this 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 uh, skull and bones here, on on the on the railing here, and basically it's it's just very simple. The the easiest explanation is always like the, the right answer, correct? Uh, is that Occam's razor? I believe. <laughs> so it's just going to be pirates. It's just what is it really going to entail? Is it going to be something revolutionary, or is it just going to be small? You know, just a little thing to be like, oh, well, actually, yeah, there are pirates. It's just it's not with the war within, right? Um, I was joking online uh, on Twitter or X, you know, as they say, it. oh, this is this, this is a funny way to, to announce player housing. But then I'm like, you know what? What if it's something like, you know, it's player housing, but it's a boat, right? A ship, your own uh, pirate ship or, or you know, uh, or um, air barge like you see in like in the cinematics for like uh, Legion, right? Holy moly, that would be. Not only would that work as player housing, but it would solve the thing about, you know, um, where in the physical world do you have it? Like, before it was in garrisons, and there was like one place, right? You had to go back to this one place. What if your housing is wherever you want it to be? It's an airship, or it's a, you know, a seafaring vessel, and it's your home away from home. You can heart there, you, you don't need an innkeeper. You can, you know, sleep, get rested XP. I'm like, oh my god, my brain is racing. <laughs> of course, that probably will not be the case, but if it is, holy cow. All right, so right underneath there, we have the War Within Alpha. Um, I'm guessing if you're an influencer, if you got friends and family in Blizzard, you'll get that. Hopefully, you know, things start to trickle out and we can get more information. From there, we go into the season four, which is here in the spring. So I'm guessing it's just gonna be right like late March. I don't think they're gonna hold it back that much. Uh, we're getting the Dragonflight raids revisited, so I think um, they they went with revisited instead of faded because we probably don't want to uh, remind people of of Shadowlands, which I have no problem. Again, I enjoy Shadowlands, and so um, I'm sure they'll do have that token system like they had before, where you could just do so many um, bosses and you would can get like an appearance for a weapon. Which uh, last time I only got a couple because I was feeling burnt out after doing so many, so many alts, and which kind of bummer because I wanted to get the jailer's uh, mace and Jathus, that two-handed, the two-handed weapon. I didn't get them. I just felt burnt out. I didn't want to do it anymore, so I missed out. But this one, eh, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll go. I don't think there's any weapons that I want. But for people that you know have a favorite trinket for the came from, that came from the raid, um, good way to get it and redo all the content. New PvP season. Um, this will be interesting to see, like what, what um, if we get a new army type? I don't think so. We'll probably get one of the last three seasons, or maybe the last season uh, get it repeated, which is maybe a new recolor. Who the hell knows? New Mythic Plus season. I'm kind of guessing they'll 
bring back the old dungeons with the with the with the new mega dungeon. Um, I think that would be appropriate just to go over you know once more the all the the um, the dungeons from the that actually launched or get them all together right because I think they did four and four again I didn't even, I didn't do any mythic plus this this uh, this expansion and then we got new open world rewards um, I don't know what that is I'm not expecting much of that okay this is now the, the the next interesting thing here it's dark heart which this is all going to be about you know uh, the void and this kind of gives me an idea what this time running pandemonium is because I remember from from Miss of Pandora it was all about uh, also the old gods and the corruptions and stuff like that and obviously Garrosh eating the heart of who was it? I can't remember it was like Yashar or, or something so Stupidly, I was thinking okay. What is time running, right? So I was like, okay time walking is dungeons, right? So time running must be raids, but then I'm like you idiot You already get the raids in time walking, right? So I'm like hmm Could this be like a boss rush type of challenge thing? Obviously, it's taking place in Pandaria and Miss of Pandaria it may, that's probably the one that they're starting with That's why it's called you know pandemonium obviously pandemonium. It's like something hectic, right? So I'm guessing it's Some kind of challenge mode some kind of time thing. I don't know. It's looking it looks interesting uh, Here we have the harbinger crest, which it's definitely gonna be uh, Zalatath uh, hopefully there's a little Eridicron in there too um, get to see a little more behind the scenes of why Zalatath needed the uh, that hung that ancient hungering, how it is that they captured it, and uh, you know hinting at what it's, you know how it's going to be used. That would be cool. We got troll and draenei heritage armor. That's nice. The more races that get their heritage armor, the better. And a new holiday event. Uh, I was like, huh, maybe something for Fourth of July. Fourth of July, and they're like, that's that's too NA ish. You know, it's got to be something. Um, Better than that, maybe something tied in with the pirates. I don't know, or again with Dark Heart. What could that be? Hmm. All right. Now down here we have the War with Beta, which I am in. I purchased the, I believe it was the Epic Edition, whichever one the Beta came in. I guess this was a more expensive one. Um, this is particularly done because I want to see what they've done with professions. Honestly, this is going to be a make or break for me if I even continue doing professions and or the guides. Because uh, Dragonfly Professions was was not and is not uh, something pleasant for me. It was just too much of a grind, too much of a burnout, uh, too many obstacles to actually have that be uh, quote unquote end game content. You know, uh, it needs to be refined, refined in my opinion, a lot. Right? But I'm in the beta. I'm gonna check that out, and uh, I might not. I might or might not do like. Story-wise stuff. I might check out the Delves. I'll tell you that because that's what I'm really interested in um, Of course, we then we have the, the pre-patch uh, Some world events. I really do hope um, That's fun because the one for Dragonflight was not fun at all. The one for, for Shadow, Sh Shadowlands Oh my god, I really didn't enjoy because it was just going from Rare to rare and then just everybody just waiting for it to spawn It spawns and then just fucking fireworks everywhere. It was so much fun uh, I got myself a, some nice big bags and some nice cool looking loot and it was fun I enjoyed the hell out of that even just standing around just watching people talk and Deploy toys and it was just it was so cool and the one for Dragonflight I was like uh having to go around getting these things nah, 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 nah. Let's make it something cool something voidy. Yes, definitely voidy uh, Then we're getting the the, the war bands, which is you know, just basically Account wide everything finally finally this again. This is going to be something that is going to help those single-player focus people now they're gonna have even more Liberty to to do alts and uh, Get them geared and get them doing content without having all these barriers to entry. So that's great uh, dynamic flight, which I'm guessing it's gonna be some kind of toggle between dragon riding and then just as they call it TBC flying that's great. That's going to be built in and then guild updates the last day. It's going to be um, You know, you can join a guild from any server um, on your region uh, You can be in let's say uh, area 52 on the East Coast and You can join let's say you want to play on the West Coast time you can go to Tychondrius where I am 
uh, and play on Pacific time and you know you don't have to change server because that can be costly right or you like your friends that are there who knows you know it's just it's gonna remove barriers now you can be cross faction and cross server next thing is cross region but that would be crazy right so I'm just happy it's you know cross faction and you know uh, servers as far as the region goes so that's gonna be great and then finally we're gonna get to the big oops what's that the big kahuna here which is the war within and we're gonna get the campaign we're gonna get the devs that's what I want um, the hero talents we've gotten that little um, preview which uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and make a video I'm just gonna say right now it's just people thought that it was gonna be like hero skins or you know going going more thematically into the uh, the classes right the specs and it just seems like that's not going to be the case. It's just going to be, you know, something just on top to give a little, a little twist, a little flavor. Not much. Some MSG. <laughs> not really what I wanted. I, I really wanted to, to go further and like actually change your um, the animations or the art. You know, the, the not the art, but the colors or the stuff like that. And it just, it's not, it seems like it's just going to not be something that's going to be very welcomed or, you know, not really liked or not make a splash, you know, which I think a lot of people wanted. <clears throat> Next one is going to be Earth and Allied Race. I have my boost from the, from the um, pack that I bought, and I'm going to keep that for when I finish the campaign, because once you finish the campaign, you get the Allied Race of the Earth. And I'm thinking... I'm leaning towards a shaman because I don't have a shaman. Um, have any earthen shaman? But then again, maybe a warrior. Want to make a warrior? Now they haven't said what their um, their racial abilities are going to be. Um, I'm kind of hoping since it's like earthen, it has some kind of like as far as professions go, like maybe some affinity to like not one or two, but like a whole section of kind of like. Um, Gil, uh, not Gilnain, what is it called? From BFA. Oh my god, I forgot what, what they were. I have it at the tip of my tongue. Um, They have like a 2% for everything, right? For all the, the, the professions. So the earthen would be like, I don't know, they could have a plus on blacksmithing, jewel crafting, and like mining or something like that. Or something cool, right? Definitely something mining with all the jewels they got on. Um that would be pretty cool obviously you know immune to like uh poisons and stuff like that that'd be cool so i'm actually looking forward to the earth and i hope they have some pretty cool racials cool Tyrion, there you go. i finally remember the damn name cool Tyrion. okay obviously now we got the four new zones which um it's gonna be something new because now instead of them being horizontal right where you you traverse them like flat land now it's gonna be um a vertical I'm just wondering how that's going to really work because, yeah, you can go down, you know, your dragon riding or, you know, uh, the the dynamic flight now, and you're going down is easy. How are you going to do to get back up? Is that going to take a lot of hard thing? I was thinking I'm actually giving up uh, engineering on my main, and I'm like, wait a minute. I think I want to keep that because if I got to do a lot of up and down, you know, going deep and then going back up, there's probably going to be a toy that will let you you know, warp to uh, a certain point. And I'm like, man, do I want to keep engineering? <laughs> I, might wanna, I might have to keep engineering. Um, because how are you, how are you going to go up and down consistently? Maybe like they have in like near Valdraken right now, they have those little uh, like NPCs or whatever they, that shoot you up. That's probably going to have to be in the game if you want to traverse um, up and down so much. And then we have a new dungeons, a new raid, and a new PvP season, which I hope... By that time, they have the battleground set to be raided and to be, you know, joinable solo. Just queue up, you go in, you have fun. Um, and it's not so focused like the current PvP is. It, it be it arena or be it solo shuffle where it's just, you know, you're targeting one person, focusing them, killing them, and then just see C-Fest all over the place. It's just, no, I, I, it's not fun. Here, at least, you have more objective-based you can focus on the objectives. Other people can go around slaughtering people if they're, you know, strong or better geared, whatever. You can probably focus then on the 
on the objective it just gives you more it just it's better i think and they should make more maps and more modes and different stuff like that uh thinking just out of the top of my head like call of duty they have kill confirmed you know once you have a kill you have to go there and confirm it or something you know, stuff like that right make it make it robust the battlegrounds should be kind of like they're trying to do with uh, delves it's just break it make new rules you know uh, that would that's really fun so that's that and um from there all we have is the war within content update 11.0.5 story quests new content and system updates i'm all for system updates i love the, what they've done with the ui uh, i want more customization um of course it's night and day from what it used to be to now there's a bunch of add-ons i've been able to eliminate because again that just doesn't overwork my computer um, many other people don't have that, you know, robust computers or whatever. It just helps when you don't have a bunch of add-ons and you can just work with the UI, which honestly, since day one that I saw it, I fell in love with the UI. I was like, oh, this, I like the flavor. I like the style. I, I, I tried LVUI. I, it was cool at the beginning, but then I'm like, you know what? It kind of takes me out of this whole World of Warcraft type of fantasy stuff. So like that, I'll go back to the regular UI and just more that they can keep that and refine it and make it pretty and make it modern. Uh, great, I'm all for that. And then finally, we have the 20th anniversary event. This should be something special, um, not like previous anniversary events. It should be, they should knock it out of the park. Um, hopefully it'll line up with uh, BlizzCon and we can have a really cool BlizzCon uh, and a very cool 20th anniversary event. Anyways, that's it for this. Um, just, like I said, I was just going over it real quick, um, giving my opinions and stuff, and I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. All right, guys, I hope I make some more videos when this finally comes out, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.